Hi guys, Eric Cressy coming to you from Cressy Sports Performance Florida. Anthony's going to be helping out today. I wanted to talk to you about the convex concave relationship between the rib cage and the scapula. So basically, if we think about this term of concave, imagine a cereal bowl, convex would be more of like a football helmet, like something that's flushed together. So what we see very often is that folks will make incorrect interpretations of what an upper back posture looks like because they don't realize this relationship is important to consider. So what we'll see in a, a very kyphotic population or someone um, who sits at a computer for a long time kind of acquires this very kyphotic posture is that they tend to be much more convex through the rib cage. And as a result, that will drive more scapular anterior tilt. It'll often be flushed to the rib cage, but because they pulled over so much through the thoracic spine, this anterior tilt is really, really pronounced. Certainly with those folks who want to drive some thoracic extension and rotation, scapular posterior tilt, bring them back to neutral. What we see very commonly in an overhead population, though, is that they'll actually have acquired position, almost like a military posture. The upper back will be very, very flat. It'll actually be hyperextended, so it's so upright that you'll have this poor relationship between the scapula and the ribcage. And it'll actually make the scapular positioning look worse than it really is. Um, you may see people that look like they have an aggressive winging, when in reality, it's not so much the train, it's actually the tracks that's really, really flat. Now we have to think about how this impacts our coaching of arm care exercises. Certainly we want to do some serratus anterior activation stuff, really drive, I guess, the sternum away from the wall or the ground on stuff because it gives us that good convex concave relationship for serratus to do its job and creating the rotational component of upward rotation. But when we do uh, prone table arm care exercises like Ys and Ts, things like that, there are some certain things we want to consider. So if you lay flat on your, uh, your stomach here, Anthony, let's say we're setting up to do a prone horizontal abduction, which would be a, just a classic T. Gravity right now is pushing down on him. And when it's pushing down on him and he's on a table, this is squishing him. So if Anthony has a really flat thoracic spine, he's kind of compressed front to back. This is a situation where he's got to work extra hard and his automatic tendency is to really tone up his erectors. He's probably going to tone up his lats. He's going to pull through his rhomboids a little bit. He's got a lot of tone right through here. When in reality, we want to preserve that convex concave relationship to get good scapular movement. So the play for a lot of these guys is simply to go up to the quadruped position. So we put him in quadruped. There's a couple things that happen. One, he can actively use the opposite hand to push himself away from the table. And in doing so, the sternum comes up and he gets this better convex concave relationship where the scapula is really snug to the rib cage. And then he can go and he can do his T or his Y or whatever it is he wants to do in a good line of pull where the scapula is flush to the rib cage. Now, the other thing that we want to create here is when you do a prone trap raise or horizontal abduction, there's going to be an element of just a subtle thoracic rotation towards me. Okay. When that happens, we know that right serratus anterior creates left thoracic rotation. Imagine the reaching that takes place as a pitcher throws a pitch and the glove side does this. So if he's actively pushing that hand into the bench or the table or whatever it may be, he's also creating just a little bit of rotation in this direction that's gonna make his arm care stuff work a little bit better. So if you're really, really flat through your upper back, be careful about being all the way down prone. This is also why we don't like doing two arms at the same time. You're better off going to quadruped or even just hand on a bench like the three-point position to really drive that good convex concave relationship.